Greetings, goddesses, gods, guides, fairies, and everything in between. It is me, your girl, S. Goddess Joe. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. I hope you like it. You can write me a comment if you don't or if you do, and you can most definitely subscribe. I would love that. Um, but if you are returning, don't even yell at me. I know I've been gone for a minute. But I'm explaining to you right now what I've been going through. And maybe you'll understand and feel a sister's pain. Um, I am basically coming off of an attack. I'm seeing more clearly now. And I know for sure I was under a vampire attack. I was energetically attacked. Um, I was spiritually hit, blindsided with no armor, no shield. And that's only because it's my fault. Um, I'm even nervous about posting this video because I feel, well, I am strong anyways. But I, the reason why I'm nervous about posting this video is because I don't know where the attack necessarily came from. Um, when you think you're doing good for people, not think, when you know you're doing good for people and you're helping people out, um, you don't think that they would come at you and suck you dry, but they do. It's all energy work. Um, you don't get something for nothing. Um, I don't, I don't believe I can do free readings anymore. Um, just because I was doing a whole lot for nothing. Um, no, I don't even want to say nothing, but I was doing a whole lot. And I wasn't replenishing myself or I wasn't being poured back into. So it could even be an exchange of something else physical. It could like I could understand if you don't have the means and we could collectively work on something. Maybe I don't know. You even give me a review of some sort. But I was energetically drained all the happiness, all the good things that was coming into my life, I just couldn't find it. Like, I was in such a good space at the time. I had so much freedom, so much range, and things weren't manifesting. And I am a master manifester, but I couldn't figure out why. That's how I know I was attacked. Um, and it could have very well been me not practicing spiritual cleanliness. That is the number one rule that you need to know if you are early on in your journey and you need to stick to. If you shower every day, wash your face, brush your teeth, groom yourself, then you need to do that spiritually as well. And that's something that I fell off the wagon with. Um, I would book clients and go food shopping right after. Um... And not even burning, like, you know how long it took me throughout this whole ordeal, throughout this whole attack, how long it took me to sit down and really go through each room and sage. When I was doing that on the regular, I wasn't having these problems. Now, for sure, because of the energy of, um, uh oh, I'm moving too much, but because of the moon energy that is heavy. Right now, I'm definitely going to take a bath. I feel the shift and I feel the changes and I'm definitely going to take a bitter bath. I have new herbs that just came in. Um, so I'm, that's a no-brainer. Um, I've cleaned my home. I've saged my home. Uh, of course, I have products on hand because of my Botanica. So why not use them? But I wasn't. That was the biggest issue. I knew. Well, I didn't necessarily know. I didn't necessarily know what was going on at the time. But because I have asked for so much guidance, because I have started cleaning and I just got up and said, I'm not doing what I need to be doing. Um, I'm getting a, a lot more clarity than I have been in the past two months. And I hate that it was at such an important time in my rising of my businesses um, and in the transition of me going from 
nine to five worker to full on entrepreneur. Um, it's a shame that that had happened during that time. When I tell you what it feels like to be attacked, you feel like you're exhausted. You're tired. You can't breathe. You're ch- you can't connect spiritually. And you don't want to do the things you need to to pull yourself out of it. And um, you're just kind of aimlessly doing things. Like I would go from the next thing to the next thing to the next thing. And I, I didn't feel any of it. I was just a body moving. So it's serious. And if you're going through that right now, you probably found this video because you're looking, you're like, something is wrong. If you feel like something is off, it is off. And my biggest problem is that I didn't even do the work to get back to who I needed to be. And um, that's no more. (laughs) That's no baby. I'm back. I've allowed so much beating and bruising on myself during this whole time and I could have just easily stopped it but you need to go through things you need to realize why you're doing things and I think um that's the lesson that came out of it I had to realize why I'm doing this again um I had to feel it again um it is taking me a little bit longer to connect to spirit how I did two months ago, but that comes, that's in me. And that's something that no one can take away from me. And I think that is the biggest part of my attack because this entity, this energy, wherever it came from, whoever it came from, however it came, it saw me and it no longer wanted me to connect. It no longer wanted me to do the work that I was doing very low vibrational, very envious type of spirit. And um, and partially I do blame myself for it, for not practicing spiritual cleanliness, for not going to my altar and clearing it out and and giving my ancestors what they need when they needed it. When I felt that they were calling for me, I need water. I need food. I need time. Come sit with me. And I wasn't doing those things. Um, And not only that, I've allowed in my readings, I've allowed so much energy to pass through me without just recognizing like I can't work with you. You know, you a not all money is good money and. You can't just allow yourself to anybody at any given time. Um, and that's what that's what happened to me. And it affected my work. It affected me. Even to this day, I still get just tired off of the smallest things. But I'm still coming out of it. You feel me? And nothing can stop me. I'm born with a gift. You could throw me off my game, but you're not going to stop me. And when I just got down and realized like what was happening and and regaining my power. That was really the biggest transitioning for me, and it's crazy that it's happening through in Leo season. I was talking to a fellow goddess. And she was even telling me, we had an intimate conversation, and she was even telling me, like, this energy is heavy. I don't know if it's just us water signs, baby, but this energy has been heavy. It has been, it's revealing, you know? And I saw the things as clear as day recently. The other day, actually, I saw as clear as day, like, you are allowing way too much under your nose. You need to get it together. You need to cleanse yourself. You need to talk. You need to tell 
tell your story. You are a teacher. You are a student. Allow yourself to speak and do what you're supposed to do. At peace, talking and telling my story time and telling you guys how I was attacked spiritually, this is also a part of my release because clearly the enemy wanted me to hold it in. I wasn't making videos. I had all the time in the world to do it. But what did I have? Excuses. Um, and to everyone that has reached out to me on my videos, anyone has, who has sent me an email, um, I just hope you understand. Because a lot of people don't. They don't understand the pressure of being someone in my position. Um of healing and feeling like you need to heal. No, well, I need to heal people because that's what I'm here to do. And I need to help. But I also need to discern. And I also need to need to really separate. And I need to decide who's worth my time who am I supposed to help or who is just in my way that I'm really not supposed to be helping? Um, so, so many lessons happen in my time away. I hope y'all can understand, but I am just really getting back. And it's clear because today is August 3rd, 2020. And it was it it came to me to just speak about it. And I pray um, if you have experienced any difficult with me, I pray you understand. Reach out to me, send me an email again. Um, send me love, send me vibes. And I'm, I'm sending you all the same thing. I'm sending you light. So mwah. I appreciate you all. I hope you understood my story and I hope you can use it in your journey. And I hope you can um, clearly see the signs if you are spiritually attacked and and start making the changes on my Jotanical website. Um, I am making changes, but I do have the tools for you. I have um the herbs you need for your candles. I have um, baths while they are while they are in stock. Um, I have candles. Um, I can create. I'm back to creating. Oh, during that time, I stopped making fixed candles. I even had lessons to where y'all can make y'all own fixed candles. You feel me? <laughs> so I have things that I wasn't even utilizing. But please, please. Come to me if you need anything. Go to www.jotanica.com. You can even email me at the Jotanica Botanica at gmail.com and let me know how you're feeling and I will let you know what you need. Um, I hope you all have a glorious, beautiful, um, abundant day, a blessed day and peace and blessings to you all. See ya.